Hello everybody, hope you are all doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis for you all, where in today's video I'm going to be covering Bitcoin and the range that I've been sculpting over the last few days and then moving on to an Elliott Wave count which has been highly requested from everybody over the last few weeks. Uh, you were all missing my Elliott Waves, so I'm going to go be kind and show you all how I've been trading today VeChain and Ontology exclusively from Elliott Waves and Fibonacci, so there's that to look forward to. Um, I hope it's I hope it will fill the gap. Um, so yeah, starting with Bitcoin here, obviously from yesterday's video, which was about 24 hours ago, you know, we, we haven't really seen much movement. Obviously from yesterday, we were looking at this drop and this is, you know, this is why I'm ready for ranges and when they come out. Um, you know, exactly this this range has not been adjusted at all from yesterday's video. OK, so obviously came down, touched the, the mid range of this of this parallel channel that I have drew out, the speculative parallel channel, come down, touch the mid range. And guess what? Today we come up and touch the exact top of this range before finding resistance there and getting a small pullback. OK, this has just been the absolute perfect identified range, in my opinion. You know, I've been trading for this on four days. You know, it's just an absolute joy to trade from um, and obviously as you all know during this initial drop that we had yesterday what was it one two three four five six hours of pullback uh, you all know we touched this red line is referring to the 236 Fibonacci level we touched the 236 Fibonacci level found resistance on there as combined with the 4000 psychological number uh, we hit resistance and then got our pullback this is where the average trader was very scared you know I saw a lot of fear on Twitter uh, a lot of fear of people thinking this we're going to come down and touch lower levels 3700 3650 you know people get very scared when they see these these red drops okay this was me thinking wow everybody's fearful i'm getting a bit greedy here uh, and started scaling into alt positions as you will know when bitcoin was pulling back yesterday some of the major alts were seeing five to ten percent pullbacks and for me that was an, a really good opportunity and now we all know how that's played out um but that just goes to show that when you have a plan and you're ready and know what's going to be happening um you know you can be ready for setups and start scaling into positions you know without without any hesitation you know, uh, as I tweeted out yesterday, if you have been bullish over the last few days, and this was obviously tweeted out yesterday at 9 a.m., uh, while there was still another, so another two, three hours of pullback still to come. Um, so I was saying that like, I am scaling into alt, some alt positions in, in anticipation of the drop, which we obviously had another two hours, three hours of drop after I tweeted this out. Do not be afraid to buy a pullback. It is normal. Hashtag scared money don't make money, mate. <laughs> so you never want to be scared while trading. You should never feel this sort of fear and trading. Uh, really bad emotion to have. As you all know, I was totally prepared. We came down and guess where we guess where we touched? We touched the midpoint of the parallel channel, found support on there. Okay, found the support on the top of the bottom of the, the, the middle of this mid range parallel channel come up. And today, obviously, a few hours ago, touching the top of this channel. OK, absolutely perfect. This pullback, though, was for me, you know, I've been I've been sculpting Bitcoin as it hits these ranges, the same with Ethereum as it hits its ranges. But I've been heavily sculpting altcoins. OK, altcoins have been my main focus over the last few weeks. You know, I've really enjoyed trading altcoins um, and just Bitcoin when it and Ethereum, the two main coins, when it hits the top of the range, because Ethereum is also in the same range. Um, and and, you know, it's been a real big joy to trade. And this was just perfect because yesterday the altcoins pulled back hard. I was scaling into positions as I wrote. And uh, yeah, that was then, you know, the perfect opportunity to yet yeah, scale in. And some of these altcoins have seen 5, 10, 15 percent bounces today. It's been lovely. Um, so I'm going to start with let's start with VeChain. Obviously, this is what I tweeted out about both of them yesterday. But let's start with VeChain, which obviously... Well, just to show you that I tweeted out about this yesterday, but you know that's uh, let's just go over on the chart, be a lot easier. So V chain, um, so V chain here. Let's zoom out to the four hour and show you what we had here. Okay, so obviously I do believe that we are going to see another sub wave up. Okay, so I am going to be buying retracements. Okay, retracements obviously from the bottom of wave two to the top of wave three. I will be I will be scaling into retracements. Okay, because I do not believe that we've topped out here. In my opinion, um, you know, if we do if we do start to fall down here, obviously I still have my stop losses in play, but I do believe that we will get one more leg up. Um, but anyway, this was for me wave one, two, three that we hit today. Come down for another four, five. Okay, what was the opportunity that made this so juicy? Okay, obviously taking these fib levels, the uh, Fibonacci extension from the bottom of wave one to the top of wave one to the bottom of wave two. Where did we top out? Uh, we obviously yesterday was finding resist strong resistance. Okay, uh, two days ago at the um, yeah one day ago sorry at the one six one eight Fibonacci level. Okay, this was a strong resistance at the one six one eight. We did pull back, but guess what? This resistance 
And this is what I highlighted in the tweet yesterday, that this resistance flipped into support absolutely beautifully. OK, so our prior resistance flipped into support. And this was just a sub wave where we hit the 1618, come back down for a final push up, in my opinion, on wave three. OK, and that was just the most easiest, perfect buy. This was a really easy clear as day opportunity in my opinion seeing that resistance flip into support okay and then obviously from there today we saw another 12 percent move up okay 12 percent uh in one day is you know an absolutely an amazing amount of money to make uh, and that's a really easy easy really really easy trade right there and uh, yeah, that was, you know, for me moving up in subwave three, obviously we're, we are reaching resistance. So don't get me wrong. I do believe we are reaching really strong resistance here on, on VChain. If you just look back on the daily, you know, it's been a level which has been acting as support, 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 you know, big wick of resistance. Possibility that we top out between the 236 and 1618. You know, I do 2618, sorry. I do believe that this is, we are reaching strong resistance right now on VChain. But, you know, this went through really nice, you know, holding of bottom supports. You know, there was plenty of opportunity to buy down here. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, you know, I didn't actually buy the bottom of the chain. I wasn't buying at the bottom way back. Uh, what was this on the 15th of December? I wasn't buying back here. But, you know, since then, there has been great opportunity, especially with Bitcoin finding its bounce over the last uh, just over two weeks. This has been a joy to trade VeChain. You know, uh, uh, same with Ontology. You will know I'm a big fan of Ontology. Let's cover ontology for you all quickly. Um, here we are on ontology. So today, this is what I was sculping mostly. And it sort of ended in an ending fifth wave diagonal. So I am expecting a, a strong pullback on ontology now, to be honest. Um, but well, it's it, it, I believe, you know, there's no, I wouldn't be short in ontology. Yeah, obviously, this is on the, um, this is looking on uh, the Tether exchange, so Binance, okay? But if you were looking to short ontology, be it on other exchanges, because you can short ontology uh, if you're on the right exchange. But I wouldn't be looking to short ontology until we break down from subway four of the ending diagonal personally. OK, uh, you know, I think you'd be very risky shorting ontology right now, at, at least from around these this sort of level of around 75 cents uh, up to the top of really 76, 77 cents. OK, I wouldn't be looking to short until we break down from here. You know, it's really looking really strong. Let's just see what we can see here on the uh Stochastic uh, histogram still up ticking. Okay, this is the one hour chart. The histogram still up ticking. Um, so I would, yeah, histogram looking nice. Uh, RSI is finding some small, very small bearish divergences. Okay, so we are getting small bearish divergences. RSI, stochastic RSI is still on its way up. Yeah, it's not a short that I would be looking to, you know, well, I'm not, I'm not in a short position right now for ontology. Um, but it is looking like it's, you know, the pullback when it comes, I do think is going to be fierce, but it doesn't look like it started quite yet. OK, that's all that I would say on this. Uh, it doesn't look like we have started the pullback quite yet. But when it comes, I do expect a, you know, a, an ending fifth wave diagonal here to pull back quite heavy. Um, and that's where I'm looking here uh, from, you know, let's let's see first. You know, I'm not predicting us to actually fall down right now. But if we were to fall down, that's just, you know, t levels where I'll be looking to buy back in. You know, I can see really, really strong areas of support really at the at the straight two Fibonacci is a strong area of support and also at the two, three, six. So higher Fibonacci levels, we are seeing really, really, you know, big support it goes without saying the golden ratio here is seeing, you know, amazing support. Uh, but that's a big way down. We'd be having to drop, uh, you know, another you know, 24% drop to get down to the golden ratio area. Obviously not impossible. And there is really big support there, but it does seem like it's going to be a little way off. Obviously very dependent on Bitcoin. If Bitcoin is still to have a nice time chilling in, chilling in this range, in my opinion, when Bitcoin ranges like this, altcoins excel, okay? Especially after a flagpole upwards, okay? So if the flagpole was downwards, then I wouldn't expect, um, if I, if, let me uh, slow down and explain this. If Bitcoin gets a flagpole downwards, so let's go through some examples. Bitcoin gets a flagpole downwards like this, then I would not expect, Bit then I would not expect um, Bitcoin, uh, altcoins to excel in this sort of bear trap, bull trap, sorry, like this. Okay, so you get the flagpole down. This is really, really badly throughout, but you all know what I'm on about. Where Bitcoin obviously gets a drop, pulls back slightly. I wouldn't be looking to buy altcoins in this sort of area, okay? Uh, like a very, very, very big bear trap here. So bull tra like trapping the bulls in the sort of bear flag, okay, that you would expect this to get continuation down. Okay, you would expect this to continue downwards. Uh, if you, let's just say taking it, you know, flag fall. Anyway, I didn't want to go through it exactly, but you know, that's just, you know, an example very quickly that you could see for a potential, you know, playing it down to the next flagpole extension. That is not an area where I'd be looking to trade altcoins after a movement down. But when Bitcoin comes from a flagpole up to the, you know, bottom to the top side, for example, here, where we obviously moved up and then we move back 
down in this sort of flagpole this is an area where it's good to be looking at altcoins in my opinion okay because you would expect obviously that another move back up to form the flagpole not just that though that it's after bitcoin consolidates in a sideways range after moving upwards that's what i want to kind of express here that if you get a movement down then that's not the time to be looking at altcoins for me um but if you get a movement up then that's when i like to trade altcoins and that's what i've been doing over the last few weeks you know the opportunities have been there on several several altcoins uh ong is is another altcoin that I've been trading a lot recently. Uh, because it's been so volatile, it's been really nice to trade. XLM obviously continuing really nicely. You know, XLM has been a, a really, really brilliant coin to trade. Uh, I'm going to clear that up a little bit, but uh, yeah, XLM has been a real big joy to trade, and this was hitting some, you know, perfect Fibonacci extensions. We hit, literally hit the 2618 today. Uh, actually, yesterday, obviously, we hit that. We topped out yesterday and hit the 2618, but that was like another really nice coin to be trading. Quantum has also been, you know, really nice. I'm looking to enter Zill, Zill positions. I'm not in Zill at the moment. Obviously, it had its initial pump. Uh, I am in EOS trades at the moment, uh, still trading EOS. Um, you know, that one, when I entered it was looking really nice. It's still it's still nice, the trade, but um, still in profits. But, you know, it's uh, another trade that I'm managing. Icon as well. Yeah, I'm enjoying trading Icon. And a big, big range of different altcoins. I love trading alts at the moment. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's everything that I wanted to cover. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video, everybody. Uh, looking at Bitcoin, I do believe, you know, I'm not going to be making a prediction whether we fall up or fall down from this range. While it's still in this range, there's no need to be panicking, okay? It's just trading from the top to the bottom to the top to the bottom until we get a candle close above, okay? You see the top of this range, there's no candle closes. And below the bottom of this range, we've had no candle closes. Okay, since the range was formed, okay, before the range was formed, since we've had the, the speculative range, we have been unable to close above or below. Okay, and while we're unable to close above or below, I'll just keep scalping the range, obviously. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is for me is perfect scenario of trading. I really, really enjoy trading uh, cryptocurrency markets when the range is so bound like it is. Okay, it's a really big joy to trade. Uh, obviously, we are still, you know, highly going up on the, you know, the stock market is a... I'm just going to really quickly cover this. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to really quickly cover this stock market where we're obviously seeing um, that oh, Bitcoin just... Bitcoin. <laughs> S&P just keeps making higher highs and higher highs and higher highs. This is a... I am expecting a pullback here. I am expecting a pullback to come soon. But, you know, this is a, not an area that I'm, I'm shorting at the moment. I'm just concentrating so much more on, on cryptocurrency right now because I am expecting a pullback to come. But at the moment, it's just so... seems so overextended. I'm just scaling into positions on the stock market right now. I have kind of taken a back seat over the last few few weeks because I sort of go in bits and droves, okay? Obviously, while Bitcoin was moving so sideways, I was heavily trading the stock market. Now, the stock market is, well, not so much the stock market is slowing down, but Bitcoin is overtaking in terms of volatility okay so i am drawn and trade the markets which are the most volatile be that cryptocurrency be that the stock market or be that com the commodity market i will be drawn to whatever you know i'm, I'm I, you know I, a lot of people that i know have switched over to forex recently um but i i although i used to trade forex heavily i do not find forex trading so fun anymore uh, just personally, um, you know, I'm a little bit bored by Forex, I guess because I've done it too much, maybe, but I'm a little bit bored by Forex. Um, so I'm like really drawn to stocks or crypto uh, or commodities at the moment, which are really nice as well. And I'll just trade whichever one is the most volatile or what most I, the one that I can make the most money on in that day. And as it stands right now, cryptocurrency is the main source of my, you know, profits that are coming in because it's just been easy and a joy to trade, you know, without a doubt. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll leave you with bringing. I'll leave you with the Elliott Wave screen. So if you would like to see what's going on here, uh, the potential that you can carry on trading off a discount. Um, but yeah, that's that's the count that I've got going on here. Obviously, the potential that wave five here is not over uh, until we start pulling back on some of these other oscillators. In my opinion, we we'll want to see some pullbacks on some of these oscillators. Volume still looking good. Um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video, everybody, and I will catch you hopefully tomorrow uh me and my fiance are gonna go fiance are gonna go out for uh, dinner now so obviously i need to get changed to get ready and uh, go out so yeah i'll catch you all on the hope you all have a brilliant weekend you all know i love you so much and uh yeah thank you everybody for the continued support oh yeah that's what i was going to mention that i am so close to reaching 5,000 followers uh so close to reaching 5,000 followers and i am going to do a giveaway when i reach this and i'll likely do some uh, obviously it's going to be a real giveaway and i'll and i'll announce the winner over a live stream so you can and also see the draw taking place. I think I'm going to do some sort of um, 
I'll give away some coins or something like this. Maybe I have a big stack of ontology and a big stack of Neo. So probably I'm going to be giving away some Neo. Uh, so some Neo and I'll, I'm also going to give uh, the, the top prize will be a private lesson with me because uh, I do think that my time is is going to be way more beneficial to you than uh, coins for free. So the top prize is going to be uh, a free uh, coaching session with me. So I uh, look forward to that when I hit 5,000. I will be doing the giveaway and I'll do it into some sort of like nice live stream that we can go through. Um, I think that'll be fun. Uh, but yeah, I'm so close to it. And for me, that's a nice achievement. Never, ever imagined I would get this high. Honestly, never imagined reaching this number. For me, it's mind blowing and really, really makes me, you know, it's, it's brilliant to see. And so, yeah, I'll celebrate that by doing some sort of giveaway where the winner will be decided by retweets or follows, I guess, on Twitter, just the standards um so then you get something by potentially winning a, a, a you know coaching with me and also i'll add in some neo or some other sort of altcoin that i'm holding right now <laughs> um you know to go along with it but uh yeah thank you everybody for the support uh yeah cheers everybody and i will catch you soon thank you